Hello, I'm standing here today with David, and we want to cover the difference between rotary vein pumps and claw pumps. So tell me a little bit about this rotary vein pump, David. So here we have a rotary vein pump. It's our model um, VRT3250. And we have pulled the cover off so you guys can see the inside of it and how the veins, as they, you know, they slide in and out, well, if we slide the last one in, as the pump turns, this is what creates the vacuum. As you can see, centrifugal force takes them out and slings the veins. So that's how the rotary vein pump will actually works. Okay, and so as those veins wear, I guess, uh, is this something the customer can replace or is this something we do? This is something we can do or the customer can replace, but they will wear, and the way they're going to wear is this dimension here will wear down. They start off at uh, one dimension, and as they wear, they shrink down that dimension. So the height of the actual overall vein will actually shrink. Now, what happens when you get into a situation where the vein is too short, as you can kind of see here, the, the distance here, if it ever gets to part where it's too short, this vein will actually get trapped here, and when it goes back to come to this, this small space here, it'll actually break. Okay. So that's one of the things that you have to really be on top of making sure what your minimum vein height has got to be in order to uh, make sure that doesn't happen. It usually occurs, depends on usage, somewhere in about a year and a half to two years that you'll have to replace these veins. All right, here we have our claw pump. Your initial investment up front is a little bit more for the claw pump, but your total cost of ownership is lower compared to the rotary vein. Can you explain that, David? Yeah, we have uh, two reasons for that. One uh, is efficiency of the pump. The biggest reason is, as you can see, there's no parts to wear in here. There are no parts to measure like we did in this rotary claw that we had to be careful of the vein height. As this pump turns, it traps air in it here, and there's no wear parts at all. These are just two metal claws that actually produce that air. The other thing that it does is it's more efficient than the rotary vein pump we just looked at. This particular unit requires seven horsepower for the same equivalent uh, CFM and pressure as we did for the rotary vein pump. So the rotary vein pump is actually a 10 horsepower, whereas this one is seven and a half. So my total electricity costs are going to be less. That's correct. And my total maintenance, because I'm not going to have the downtime to repair the veins, is going to be less. That's correct. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you.